Well, it's my pleasure today to have with us one of Britain's most innovative chemists, Dr. Richard Steen, who's been doing some superb work in the field of natural alternatives to antibiotics. Dr. Steen, would you like to say a few words about yourself, please? Thank you for this opportunity, Phil. I'm a chemist by training, and for the last 20 years, I've been concentrating on uh, the chemicals that exist in nature and the way that nature uses them for the, the benefit of uh, plants, for humans, for animals, and that's where my work is concentrated now. So is there a problem with the way that medicine is treating infection today? Do we have a problem with antibiotics? Yes, we do. The invention of penicillin was amazing more than 50 years ago. Sadly, within only a few years, resistance by several organisms became recognised. There have been hundreds of other antibiotics developed since then. But again, organisms are developing a resistance, such that perhaps antibiotics no longer work. So what would the body use as its natural first line of defence? You're right, Phil. The body does have a first line of defence. In our tears and in our saliva, for example, we produce molecules called oxythiocyanates. And these are there to kill off the first infection that might enter our body, whether they be bacterial or viral or fungal. So these oxytheocyanate cells, they, they form the first line of defence. What, what do they destroy? Well, there are trials that we have performed in laboratories against a wide, wide range of pathogenic materials, and we have always been successful in killing them. And these include some of the nasties such as E. coli, Listerias, Salmonellas, MRSA, or Staphylococcus aureus, as well as fungal and viral pathogenic materials. So, if antibiotics are becoming resistant to uh, pathogens, can pathogens become resistant to oxytheocyanates? That's a very good question, Phil. We think the answer is no. The reason we've come to that conclusion is because pathogens have been around for as long as man has been around, yet man is still here. Therefore, he must be able to, pro to produce this defence against which the pathogenic organisms have not developed a resistance. So this is fascinating information, uh, Dr. Steed. So I suppose a lot of people will be asking themselves, why haven't we heard about oxythiocyanate supplements before? Oxythiocyanate is a very sensitive molecule. It has a very short half-life, only a matter of hours which makes it impossible to manufacture in a factory and then ship it around the world. For the product first line, we have developed a special kit formulation whereby people will manufacture it at home and therefore it is at its full maximum strength when they consume it. So what makes first line unique? Well, first of all, the kit itself, the components in the kit are absolutely stable, and you can keep them in your uh, medicine cupboard at home for a long time. When you make it up through this, the patented kit that, uh, formulation that we have, then it is at its maximum performance. And the other unique factor is that it is active against such a wide range of organisms. You don't need to find out what organism it is that's making you ill, and you know that you'll be able to uh, take the uh, first line kit, rather than having to wait for a specific organism to be identified and then to take the antibiotic that's effective against that organism. Mm -hmm. So I suppose a pertinent question is, we should ask is, how quickly does first line work? Well, in the laboratory trials that I referred to earlier, we have seen that the pathogenic materials that are uh, in, in the water have been totally destroyed within minutes. By that I mean 40, 60, 80 minutes, depending upon the concentration of the pathogens and the type of the pathogen. Anecdotal evidence, which is all that we have at the moment, suggests that people are feeling better 
after a couple of hours or overnight. So from the doctors who've been using these kits, have you heard anything about the, the types of patients they've been treating? We have indeed, and uh, there have been oh, several hundred doctors who have taken kits, some of them more than one, uh, to treat patients. And the typical conditions have been upper respiratory tract, uh, leg ulcers, and uh, stomach conditions such as Helicobacter pylori. And in every case, they have been delighted to report back positive results. So how easy is it to apply a first line kit, Richard? Really very easy. We've worked hard to make it easy. The kit consists of four components, uh, which are based upon the things that are occur in nature, in your saliva, for example. You add the four components into water, allow the, the, the materials to settle, and then you drink it. So when should First Line be used? Well, we would recommend that the first time that you feel that your body might be suffering from an infection, then you should take one of the kids. Personally, I take a kit every three months, whether I feel ill or not, because I feel that we all are carrying pathogenic materials with us all the time. And so to boost my immune system and lower the, the, the body burden that these things introduce can only be a good thing. And what dosages should people be taking? Well, we manufacture the kit to uh, a standard dosage size. And uh, so people take one kit However, it's always very difficult to measure the extent of the infection and uh, therefore for some people who may be more heavily infected, perhaps a second dose is recommended for the second day. This is wonderful information, uh, Richard. I, I was wondering actually, uh, with antibiotics, uh, people who take multiple doses would see quite a lot of toxicity, which of course would lead to side effects. What's been the case with first line, even with patients who have taken uh, multiple doses of first line? Well, the toxicity level, often referred to as the LD50 number for uh, oxythiocyanates, is around 50 milligrams per kilo. Uh, per day, per person. We are introducing into the body only 25 milligrams a day, where therefore we are well, well below any toxicity levels. Well, this is amazing work, uh, Richard, and I, I do have to congratulate you and your team on such a wonderful invention. Um, I mean, what it seems that we have a, a, a natural molecule here that we can now use as a supplement that will kill gram-positive and gram-negative pathogens without upsetting good uh, intestinal flora and without creating side effects. It sounds, that's why it sounds absolutely so wonderful. Uh, would you like to, to add anything uh, uh, that you've discovered or what you believe that this, uh, this product can do for people? Well, thank you, Phil, for the compliments for my team and, and myself. But uh, all we have done is copy what nature does. I've always believed that nature has the answer to everything. And I'm also a strong believer that chemistry is the key. And we've managed to bring these together in first line.